here on charlotteobserver.com slash sports with uh, the uh, man that's won a bunch of awards tonight. Congratulations, uh, winning a first place and a writing award and a columnist award tonight for some work you did last year on Phil Mickelson. That's, that's a neat achievement. Thank you. It's, uh, he makes it very easy to write about. He, yeah. is, uh, he just laid it out there and you just, uh, you know, don't choke. Well, you're, you're very good at what you do. And uh, Ron, you've covered uh, 29 masters now, is that right? Uh, actually, I think this is 30. Yeah, I went back okay. and did math. I, I have to count up on all my fingers okay. and everything. So, uh, yeah. Do you have less of an idea than you ever have about who's going to win this tournament? I have more of an idea than I had last Sunday morning. But now that Phil won at Houston, I have more of an idea. I, still, I think Phil's the guy to beat. I think there's uh, any number of players. It is more wide open than most years. You used to start with Tiger, then you go to Phil, and then mm -hmm. they see what happens. But I think it's Phil's right now. He's the favorite. Uh, you know. The Augusta Chronicle headline Wednesday morning jacket is Phil's to lose. You've never seen that with a headline, you, at least not going into a tournament. He is certainly more of a favorite, no question. Vegas uh, says that as well, uh, ahead of Tiger. What are our expectations for Tiger? I mean, here's a guy that didn't see a golf course like totally in shambles. Not that it's much better now, but it was real bad a year ago and still finished in the top five. Can we expect that this week? I think he's going to finish in the top five. I think he's getting pretty close. Maybe I'm sipping the. Uh, Cool leg down here, they like got a little bit, but I think he, I mean, more than most other places, this is a golf course for guys who have played well through the years can keep it going and come in. I mean, what he did last year, when you look at it in retrospect, all he's been through making this debut here, finishing fourth and having a chance was phenomenal. I think uh, he's got to, the thing he's going to have to do here is instead of two foot par putts, you're going to have mm. a four days worth of five footers and six yeah. footers, and those, you know, he used to just. I mean, they were automatics. Now, he's got to make them again, and it won't be as easy. Last thing real quick, uh, other than Davis Love, give me a surprise pick. Um, Luke Donald. Luke Donald. All right, I'm going to go uh, Nick Watney. Not that that's that much of a surprise. Neither is Luke Donald. But, but uh, we're going to be blogging and lots of videos uh, all week uh, here from Augusta. Glad to be with you with uh, Ron Green, Jr. I'm Taylor Zarzer, and stay tuned for more.